Okay, still recording? Okay. Here's an example that's, that's related to resonance, but in some way it's actually more of a curiosity than a practical example. I don't know if there are any applications of something like this. But it does make you go through some linear algebra reasoning and some ODE thinking as well. So let's see what happens here. So first of all, skipping the details, which we can at this point, we recognize that there will be a repeated root here of minus 3. And then, of course, oops, it's also a resonant frequency. So let's see. So it will be a particular solution. We know this. We know the null space. The null space doesn't even really look at the right-hand side. It's all about the system itself. So now we have to guess a particular solution, and we know by the resonant logic that e to the, three, e to the minus 3t will not work. Why? Because it's in the null space. Resonance. So you do what we just did, go to t times e to the minus 3t. And then you notice that 2 is in the null space. So that 2 won't work. So what will work? You try t squared times e to the minus 3t. So let's do it. So that's our guess. But let's do the hard work of making sure it works and finding the coefficient. So again, I'll do it quietly on the board and you do it on your own. Okay. Two. So do you see how the terms containing t squared get cancelled by a non-miracle? And uh, the terms proportional to t get cancelled cancel by a non-miracle? So we're left with just what we want to have. <coughs> Excuse me. 2 times e to the minus 3t. So our original guess should have had a 1 half. So then we end up with 1 times t excuse me, 1 e to the minus 3t. Okay, so this was a nice example with an example of both resonance and repeated roots. So you just have to be a little bit quick on your feet when you're presented with a new situation and just think through what, what you should try. And it usually works, and I've never seen an example where it doesn't work. Just as a last quick question, I'll ask you now a quick question, and then a long-term question. Just something to really think about at home, and I believe when you work out the math, you'll have the answer. What if I did this? What if? Then what would you try? Well, you wouldn't try e to the minus 3t, because you're hoping for more. You wouldn't try t times e to the minus 3t because that's also in the null space and that would give you zero. You couldn't try t squared times e to the minus 3t because that produces e to the minus 3t. So what would you do? t cubed. I would just try t cubed. And if that doesn't work, I would try a full polynomial with t cubed, t squared, t and so forth. But I believe that t cubed alone will do exactly what I think we should try. Basically, if there was t to the n here, we should try t to the n plus 2. There are situations where that won't be enough and you would have to try all of the polynomial, all of the polynomial terms up to t to the n plus 2.